Yo, what's up, guys? This is Atrix here. Today, in this video, we'll be taking a look at Yuzu Emulator's configuration and best settings. Now, these are the updated best settings, and let me tell you guys one thing: there is a specific build of original normal Yuzu Emulator Android, which works the best for games like Demon Slayer, Hinokami Chronicles, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, Jump Force, and much more. So, right here is the build number. You can see. E296 etc but this build was released on June 22 on Play Store so if you are using this version of Yuzu emulator then you are all set if you are using the latest July build of Yuzu emulator Android then it's good as well uh, it won't give any trouble on Android devices which are below Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 so if you have Snapdragon 888 processor or below definitely using the latest build of Yuzu Android is the best choice for you. Now let me just go ahead and open settings. You can see I am using the Mesa Turnip Adreno Driver version 23.2.0 for Adreno 7 series GPU revision 3. That's the best GPU driver you can use on Adreno GPUs, Adreno 6 series as well as 7 series. It gives the best FPS possible and graphical output. If you use the same graphic driver on Yuzu Early Access latest build, then you might face many graphical issues on Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Android device or above. Now let me show you guys the normal Yuzu Android best settings. So just go to advanced settings. Here let's go to general. Limit speed percentage you should turn it off. CPU accuracy set to accurate level or auto if you have an low end device. Afterwards let's go to graphics. Accuracy level is set to normal. Resolution is 0.75x. Again you can go way down for resolution. If you select 0.5x resolution it will give you just few more FPS. That's what I recommend you guys uh, because Yuzu Android is not really great on performance at least for now. The next settings in graphics, we have to enable disk shader catch and force maximum clocks. Now if you have a uh, MediaTek processor Android device, then you need at least minimum 8100 dimensity processor. Uh, unless you meet that requirement, this emulator won't be playable with many games. Anyways, now go to debug option. This is very important. Make sure to turn off fast memory. By default, these will be the uh, settings enabled. You will have to disable fast memory and also enable CPU debugging. Uh, and graphic debugging make sure to turn it off api is welcome now if you enable cpu debugging it will uh, put your cpu into a slow debugging mode but it is what has to be done if you want to play games like dragon ball z kakarot or demon slayer but if you want to play pokemon games then i don't recommend you guys to uh, disable fast memory so those were the best settings now one thing i wanted to take a look at was uh, the yuzu emulator androids configuration as you might know yuzu emulator pc version uh, has an configuration where we can modify this through a txt file the same is also present with the uh, yuzu early access build so let's open yuzu emulators uh, directory now go to this folder then let's open config folder now as you remember we used to configure uh, citra emulator according to our best uh, like possible knowledge but the yuzu emulators configuration is quite complicated so let me just go ahead and open it using any text editor you will see that this uh, INI file has lot of options. Just take a look at this guys. Like I did analyze this INI file before. So if this video reaches 300 likes, I'll tell you guys the best options to modify in this config.ini. If we just go ahead and scroll down, we'll see core settings such as multi-core emulation, uh, enable unsafe extended guest texture memory and all these settings are not available in the Yuzu default settings tab. So with the help of this configuration, you can unlock additional settings. In CPU, you will see adjust various optimization according to our liking. Now in CPU accuracy, we have set it to one as it is accurate. Now you can edit the configuration file yourself as well. If you just have decent knowledge about these settings, if we set zero, then uh, it will go back to default. If we use one, then it will be accurate. And if we just type two, it will enable unsafe optimizations. Afterwards, we have another option to disable safe optimizations. Below that, we have CPU debug mode, which we have enabled. That's why it's true. If you type false, then uh, the CPU debug mode will be disabled. Enable inline page tables optimization, faster guest texture memory access, uh, and it will be enabled. It's enabled by default, so you don't really have to change anything but these are some of the additional settings which aren't really present on uh, normal yuzu advanced settings tab so let's just quickly save this configuration and let's restart our yuzu emulator android i'll be trying to play demon slayer hinokami chronicles so let's open it and see how well does it actually work now this game works with amazing performance at least on my device but for your devices i'm guessing that it will give playable fps snapdragon 855 processor or above is the minimum requirement yuzu is pretty high end emulator they aren't making any comp compromises for uh, low-end devices unlike Citra which was even compatible with low-end devices but it's no longer compatible 
But anyways, the game has successfully started. You will see a black screen for about 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, it will usually go away. By the way, what you guys think about this bubble head which I purchased recently? Yeah, this just costed me about $3. I thought it's pretty cool, so I just bought it. Anyways, the game has successfully started. What about if we uh, also film a gameplay video about Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm? Let me know in the comment section down below if you will be willing to watch that. Anyways, let's start the game. Just hold the B button to skip the cutscene. Let's hold the B button again. Dock mode has been disabled, alright? But if you see these uh, characters which are not being rendered properly, then you just have to restart your game and the characters will start looking fine. I have already shown that method in the video which I'll put on the iCard above. You might also face many graphical issues which can only be fixed after restarting and disabling dock mode. Sometimes enabling dock mode also provides some graphical improvement. And at the top left corner, you will see we are getting straight up 30 FPS. The game is capped at 30 FPS. Uh, that's why we aren't getting about 60. But yeah, Demon Slayer is really well optimized game, which you can definitely try out on Yuzu Android. So let's hit 300 likes on today's video and we'll be taking an in-depth look at the Yuzu config.ini. See you guys next time. Goodbye.